So we're quite lucky today. We're, we're down here at Split. Sun is shining, weather is good. Gentle breeze blowing. And look at what we have here. We have the brand new drive-by wire BF150 from Honda on a Sport 700 here that's just, uh, just arrived for the show. The engine, I have to say, looks really, really nice. Looks really modern, nice angular design. And I think it's uh, got the potential to be a really popular model from Honda. So we'll jump on board, do a quick test of the boat, and I'll let you know what I think. Silent on takeover, absolutely silent. The refinement that we're used to from Honda seems to still be there. thing I noticed straight away is that the the whole shot is a lot better a lot smoother the old 150 was a great engine but one of the one of the criticisms was the fact that it took a little bit of a, a time to respond to your throttle inputs it was great when the VTEC kicked in but before the VTEC it was a little bit sluggish at times this the second you hit the throttle the power comes in which is a really good start. So it's instant instant throttle response which is a big improvement i think and it, you really notice it on a boat of this size this is sport 700 and that instantaneous response makes it a much more pleasurable experience to drive The other thing that you shouldn't overlook is the fact that we're cruising now at 20, just under, just under 22 knots. We've got a breeze, a cross breeze blowing, and the engine just, we know the engine is there, we can hear it, but it isn't intrusive. You can have a normal conversation on the boat with your friends, with your family. It's just a reliable hum in the background. So we got a bit of a swell running today, so top speed testing is gonna be out of the question, but that's not to say that I can't make the most important test, which for all of us is cruising speed. And cruising speed on a boat of six and a half, seven meters is around 24 knots. So we're gonna pop up, just increase the speed, get up to that cruising speed. And I can talk to you about revs and most importantly, these days, fuel burn. So we're doing 22, 21 now, 22 knots. We're burning exactly 21.5 liters an hour. Uh, we're running, we're not running flat as you can see, we've got a bit of a lump on about half a meter of swell. Um, 23 knots now. 21.6 liters an hour. So we're in the eco mode, you can see that, we've got the green gauge on. Just like all Hondas, you know, this, this engine is really, really good on fuel.
So our partnership with Honda dates back 10 years and we understand their reliability, we understand their strength, we understand how robust their motors are, we understand how refined they are. But I think this new 150 is a step in the right direction from Honda. They seem to have given it some license to hit its revs earlier, to give you that power earlier. I feel that as soon as I hit the throttle on this engine, it says, yes, okay, let's go, let's go. Whereas the previous 150, it was an incredible motor, but there was always that hesitation. It was always the computer just checking everything was okay before it gave you that power. This one gives you the power all the way up through the rev range. So for me, it already feels like a really good step forward for, for Honda.